Hello all. So here I am coming up with one more tutorial on Illustrator. So in the previous tutorial we had gone through the interface of Adobe Illustrator. So in this tutorial we are going to go through two tools over here. That is one is your selection tool and second is your direct selection tool. So let's start. So very first of all let's open Illustrator. Let's take a new file. So let's take a A4 page for now. Click OK. Now what we can do over here is like let's take a basic shape over here. Let's go into the shapes. I'll click over here. So we have different shapes over here like rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star and your flare tool. So let's take a circle, that's your ellipse tool. Let's just draw a ellipse over here. Once you draw a ellipse over here, now if you go over here, you have a tool called selection tool. So once you click on the selection tool, now you can move this object wherever you want in this artboard. So you can see that with the help of this tool, I can easily move the shape or whatever shape which is created over here I can easily move it wherever I want. If you click over here this is your fill color this is your stroke color. So fill color if I go over here and let's take any of a fill color so that's your fill color you can see the color inside so that's your fill color and if you go over here and let's take a red color so this is your stroke color stroke means your border color so if I click on this object and if I go over here and increase its stroke, you can see the thickness of the stroke has been increased. So you can increase, decrease the width of the border from here. That's your stroke weight. So now what I can do over here is like if I say as zero, I can, if you click, uh, if you just write zero and press enter, your stroke will go off. So now there is no stroke. As you see over here, there is a cross over here. It indicates there is no stroke over here. Now if you go over here and if you switch this, you can switch the foreground color. I can say you can switch the fill color and a stroke color. Can you see this? I can easily switch these colors. So now what I can do over here is like, so this tool, that's your selection tool. You can click out, again click on this object and you can move the object. That's your selection tool. Second tool over here we have is your direct selection tool. How direct selection tool works is like, if you click on this direct selection tool and if you want to edit the shape, if you see this, if you click over here, these are called anchor points. Anchor points help you to edit the shape. So if you click on the shape and if you go over here, you can easily edit the shape using this anchor points. So for this anchor points, we have to select this tool that is called direct selection tool. So direct selection tool will help you to edit the shape. If you click on this anchor point and if you see this over here, these are called handles, bezel handles. So if you rotate it here on right and left, as you can see, you can variate your shape or you can reshape, reshape it. So you can easily reshape the object. Undo it. If you press Alt on your keyboard and if you try to reshape it, now you'll see that it's reshaping only from one side. So you'll getting one side is smooth and on the other hand you are getting as sharper so you, this point is more sharper and it's again coming to the smoother so let's again go over here I'll make it a bit sharper again if I press alt and again I do it from this direction then you will see that again I can go with the other shape over here as you can see this so again if I want to move this object I can select this I can again selection tool and I can move it. Again if I want to reshape it, 
let's again go into the direct selection tool click on this and you can reshape it right back okay that's it so let's give a color into it so i can go into this and if i want to give any color to it i can easily give a color into it i can give a color over here so now let's reduce the size of this particular shape what we have created so select the shape and you have option over here called free transform tool so just click on this free transform tool press alt and shift on your keyboard all together both together go into this side and you can resize it i repeat alt and shift together and you can resize the shape alt and shift and you can resize this and you can again use this selection tool and you can push it on so now if you want to make the copies of this particular shape so there are two to three methods for that one is you can go into edit copy and where you want to paste you want to paste in front back or on place so front will come in the front back will be the back and place will be on the same place or else you can press alt on your keyboard make sure you have selected the selection tool alt press alt on your keyboard and drag it with your mouse so you can see you get a copy so once you made a copy over here after that you can press control d that is for duplicate so once you press control d you can make multiple copies after that at the same space i repeat make one copy first then press control d so you can see that it's going to make the same number of copies not the same number of copies but the same distance the gap between this two shape is equal so that can be generated using this option so we are going to go with one more shape over here let's go over here and let's take a rectangle so if i want to draw a rectangle i can directly draw a rectangle or if you want to draw a perfect square you can press alt and shift on the keyboard and make a shape now we see it's making a perfect shape so now again if you go into this direct selection tool i can click on this anchor points and i can edit this shape i can easily edit this shape so whatever shape you want to edit it you can edit this shape so transforming this smoothening this anchor points i'll be coming up in the coming sessions so you have made again one more shape over here again select this using the selection tool you want to reduce the size free transform tool alt and shift and again reduce the size of it so you want to change the color you can just double click on it and you can easily change the color of it. the most important thing is if you zoom this any of the shape you will see you will not get a single pixel in it because it is a vector application so these are the shapes whatever you have created these are created these are made up of points so there are no pixels in this so again you can take a ellipse tool you can make a ellipse so let's take one ellipse over here after making a ellipse again you want to edit the shape you can edit the shape you can edit it edit with the anchor points so in this tutorial i'm just going to show you these two tools nothing else and your free transform tool so again you want copy it alt and drag copy it press control d 
that is for duplicate or else you can just make a shape you can give any color alt and drag and if you want to rotate it you can just rotate it in this way in this way again you can alt and drag rotate it click over here and you can easily rotate it so whatever shape you want you can just go on creating the shapes alt and drag again rotate it alt and drag again rotate it and you can just go on creating such kind of shapes that's it so as you have seen over here we have just gone through these two tools which are very very important so whatever the further stuff which will be working over here these tools will be the must over here so in the coming tutorial i'll come up with more tools and with more examples so thanks for watching this tutorial